Hello everybody, and welcome into a series I'm incredibly excited for, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advanced. Came out in 2003? My gosh. Um, guys, I'm so excited for this series. I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid. The first person who ever actually showed it to me was Reggie, and um, yeah, I was like over at his house one day, and he's like, hey, I got this new game for my Game Boy, it's called Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, and so I was like, oh, show it to me, whatever, hey. And then... It was just amazing. I don't remember if he was at the beginning of the game. I don't think he was, but he just played it for, like, hours. I was like, this is amazing! And then he let me borrow it. And then I eventually bought my own copy, and I played it so much. This is going to be great. I'm so looking forward to this. Let's just go ahead and watch this intro sequence real quick. Alright, so that's basically the start of the game. Princess Peach doesn't get captured in this one, um, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, I am playing this game. Don't tell the police on an emulator. So there might be some visual issues from time to time, like you saw there at the start. Like when the people were walking down the aisle, they flashed in and out. But, uh, or that might not show up on the capture. Or it might, who knows. But, um, anyways, yeah. If things freak out from time to time, don't get too worried. However, I think, for the most part, things should be okay. Yeah. So, one of the games I played the most when I was, like, a really little kid, like, younger than six, was, um, Super Mario RPG Quest for the Seven Stars, I think? And this game is very similar to it, so, um, I'm extremely excited for this. Like, the two kind of blur together in my head because I played them both so much. But this game has a ton of hilarious comedy and just so enjoyable. The gameplay is amazing. It's all around a fantastic game, and so I'm so excited to be playing this again after, like, several years of not playing it. Probably haven't played it since, like, freshman year in high school or something. Which was, shoot, like, probably, oh my gosh, eight years ago? Now, so one of the things that's cool about the combat in this game, it's like Paper Mario, and it's like, um... Oh, we'll just go through the tutorial, I suppose. Yeah, like Paper Mario and like the Super Mario RPG game, you can, uh... It's like turn-based, but there are things you can do during the battle to, like, do better. It's not like Final Fantasy turn-based, where it's like, they go, you go, they go, you go, or whatever. Like, you can, yeah, you click the buttons with the right time, you can do extra damage, and, um... All the attacks have different timing, and then enemy attacks have different times you can dodge them. Like that, I was able to jump over his fire. Some enemy attacks you can, like, um, do extra damage to them. Like if an enemy tries to ram you and you jump at the right time, you can land on their head. <laughs> yeah. And so... I guess I won't just go through and tell you everything right now, but the combat in this game starts getting very complicated, and, like, you can make it through without being that great at it, but if you are really good at it, the game really rewards you, which I love, so. Yeah. Let's just keep making our way through this tutorial, kick the crap out of Bowser, and see what the princess has to say about that. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh, this freaking game. <sighs> Boom, I'm out. I think this game does kind of go in the Mario style of, oops, it's better to be nice to most people, most everybody, and then they'll give you like rewards and stuff, like you could have said, uh, no sucker, I'm keeping it for myself, and you'd be like, oh, what a tool, don't get a super shroom. He went up. I think if you help that guy out, then he gives you something later, or not, maybe, I don't know. Boom, mushroom. Oh my gosh, this is slowly coming back to me, but oh, I'm just so excited, guys. Action icons? Might as well. A little bit of investigation. I certainly do not. Boom! I do rule. There's probably a lot of secrets I used to know about that I've totally forgot about because, again, I haven't played this game in just about eight years or something. Aha! Do a little bit of investigation. Found something precious! The best. THE BEST! I... don't remember what those do in this game. I maybe bring you back to life after you die? Or was that like a revival of Freshing Herb? I don't... I don't remember, guys. Uh, mushroom! Yeah, so there's probably gonna be a ton of secret stuff that I used to know about that I totally forget and miss now. So... <laughs> oh, the stairs have we, I want to do it one more time, but we can't. Let's just get going, guys. Oh, man. Oh, yes, the save book. Save and continue. Oh, man. Just... I'm sorry that I'm freaking out so hard about this, but just... The more and more I keep moving forward, the just happier I get. Yes! I think the book is backwards because... Is that how they do things in Japan? I think that's how they do things in China. Like, books are in reverse compared to America. I'm not rushing off. I already saved in the backwards save book. Oh. Bye -bye. <laughs> oh, Luigi. It's an old toad. Got the dumbest, happiest smile on my face right now. Oh, this is so great. Oh, yeah, all the money.
I don't believe I read the, t the text too fast. If I do, just leave me a hateful comment below, um, or I can just start letting it scroll at its natural speed. In these games, it's a lot less common for a. Uh, oh, whoops. It's a lot less common for Mario and Bowser to always be enemies. Like, it's pretty frequent that you actually work together, which is something I like. They kind of introduce new and interesting enemies who do new and interesting things. Your gnarliness. Oh yeah. Boom. The Bowser Baddies. Have it simple. Oh, and it glitched out of the Matrix. Your filthiness. All the names. So good. Got the most hilarious face. Oh dear. When he's sprinting right there, he just like looks insane. Kinda looks like Waluigi or Wario. Beep beep kick down! Yes, let's press select on our Game Boy Advance controller, on which we are playing Game Boy Advance games. So these are your stats and stuff. Looks like Luigi is better than Mario, as always. <clears throat> okay, yeah, why don't mushrooms do bring it back to life? That's good. Oh. Donny keys. Donny beans. Don't have any pants? No, we do have pants. Nice. Nice. Okay. I think stash essentially constitutes luck, I believe. I don't remember. Mario's stash is slightly better. Interesting. Oh, okay. And Luigi levels up slightly slower. Alrighty, cool. Oh, and then, um, this was the first game where you have, like, B to jump Luigi, A to jump Mario, and then they work kind of independently of each other. And so you have, like, a lot of platforming puzzles. Okay, good, I can press both at the same time. That's important from time to time. Oh, yes. So pumped. Oh, and I think soon we get to do something great for our save file. Let's talk to everybody. Hold on. Maybe. Yeah. I remember that. I know there are times when you need to do that, I just don't remember when. So 
Gotta line it, line it up. There we go. Did we actually get that money? I think we did. We did. Nice. So much tutorialing. Oh yes, this is the best part. guy fits inside her suitcase. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. How'd it turn out? How on earth did that turn out? There we go. That's what it is. Yeah, buddy. Oh, dang it. Mario ended up just regular. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Mushroom. Alright. I used to have this whole place memorized. That lost guy! It is nice to be nice. I don't know if you don't help him if that guy isn't there, or if he um, just doesn't give you a thing. Maybe he'll assault you. I have no idea. Italian. Oh, it's so good. Please do. I think there's a way to like hit this with Luigi. And yes, I certainly do. Okay, yes. I, I guess. Not. Oh, don't don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, so then in combat, you control them separately as well, and like the dodging and timing and stuff is still like it was before in the previous deck, or in the previous Battle of Mario. Oh! Boom! Counter damage. Oh, the combat music, I forgot about this. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. So the counter damage is similar to... Oops! Dang it. It's similar to, um... Oh gosh, what is it? Mario and Luigi Thousand Year Door. Except for in that game, you had one option for just defend or dodge, and you had one option that was, like, harder to pull off, but that would do counter damage or prevent all damage. And in this game, it's just based on the timing, whether you, like, avoid all damage or do counter damage. Which I can see, I can see the upside to both. Oh, frick. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the timings again. But I love this because my major problem with, um, like, just turn-based games was a lot of the times, it just came down to grinding whether or not, oh, where do we want to play our bonus? 
I never leveled up Stash before. I don't know if that's just like your chance to get crits or something. Oh, this might... The level up screen's gonna have to be a freaking... Like, maybe my desktop background or something. Goodness gracious. Um, I suppose for now we'll just put points into power? Or, ooh, I'm torn between potentially power, bro points, or badge points, whatever, and HP. Let's just do some of this. Oh, hey, a two bonus, not bad. And poor Luigi has not leveled up yet. Oh yeah, start out the damage. Or start what? Start out the battle with doing some damage. I can't remember if you can also do that in Mario Luigi's Thousand I'm just gonna call it Thousand Year Dwarf now from now on. I don't remember if you I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Like this game and Thousand Year Door are probably my favorite two Mario games. Like even including like Mario Kart and stuff like that. They're just so good. Alright, now Luigi levels up. Does he dance in the opposite direction? Nope, he dances just differently. Oh, sorry Luigi. Oh, I suck. <laughs> oh, I have so much learning to do. Aha! Justice. Man, it looks like we're just gonna get through the tutorial and the intro sequences before the end of this video. But, I don't even care. I'm gonna put out videos for this, like, seven times a day. Because I am so pumped to be playing this again. And it's not overly confusing, like, I don't think there'll be long periods of time where I'm just lost and don't know where to go or what to do. Kind of like what had happened in Starbound for a while, and what might currently be the case on Pony Island. Eh, eh. For the most part, this game is fairly straightforward. <laughs> no, that cargo. Why, with the pinch crane? Oh, that would suck. Rancidness! Those eyes always look super angry angry to me, but I don't know that they're supposed to be. Am I just supposed to be like confused and terrified? This freaking lady. Cacletta. Oh I dare. Gosh dang, I thought that stuff was so funny when I was a kid. Oh, everyone's freaking out. <gasps> Reggie made a tiny little, like, clay fawful and gave it to me one time just as a present. Because I was so wildly into this game. 
Gosh dang it, for like, from like 7th grade until probably through freshman year, this was like my favorite game that I'd like play and then beat and then just instantly start up again. Delicious Mustard of Doom. Boss battle! Timing for this guy was always kind of weird, like bouncing off his head because. Fink rat. You, Fink rats! Because he's floating in the air. So, like, I think the like time between when you take off and hit him is the same, but you're higher up in the air, so it looks strange. I just remember that always messed with me. But it seems to be doing. Seem to be doing. Seem to be doing good so far. Such mumbling. Yeah, that's another thing I do like. All enemies do have hints in their attack. And so, it doesn't take too horribly long to figure out the patterns. Oh gosh. Oh crap, what have I done? I'm like <laughs> Aha! I think at this point now we can deal counter damage to him. Ah yes, I just have to get the timing down again. Dude, we're stomping this guy. Things are going poorly for him. Pink rats. Oh, so good. I have to play all my games in a window. Especially this one. Um, I have fury! The... Um, the video formatting can't be 16 to 9, which is what YouTube uses, so we're going to have big black bars. But if I accidentally click outside the window, then we lose audio for a second. And I'm playing on my laptop, so I have to use the gamepad, or like the keyboard. And I... One of them swoop! Um, I accidentally bump like the little trackpad or whatever, and then it clicks on the desktop. And then we got issues. So I'll try my hardest to keep my thumb away from that, but it's probably going to happen from time to time. Please forgive I honestly don't remember who that is. Oh gosh, all these dudes are like... That guy off to the left was twitching in horrifying pain. So if you want to go up on platforms like this or whatever, you have to like jump and then Luigi's stuck down there, so then jump and jump jump. And jumping at the same time generally isn't the answer, but so you have to like get the have to get the skills down. The, the good old tap tap. Tap tap, Millas, tap tap. <clears throat> so I think this is gonna be the end of this video. I might put out another one here, like, immediately after this, but Thank you guys so much for watching the start of this series. I'm incredibly pumped up. This is actually a decently long game. So um, you can certainly look forward to more videos coming out soon and coming out for probably a little while. So thank you so much for checking this out. Have a wonderful day, everybody.